Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. What up, Facebook? What up, IG? Good morning, Kev. How's it going? Hey, everybody. Good morning, Facebook. Hey, gang, on this uh this snowy day. Y'all know I don't really, I ain't really feeling the snow. I don't like the snow too much. I'm over it. Good morning, good morning. Uh, how's everybody doing this morning? Hey, Facebook, are you guys safe and, and warm in this snow <laughs> in this snow so good morning good morning so what i want to talk to you guys about this morning because of course it's wednesday and after wednesday well wednesday always comes after tuesday and on tuesdays i teach so i always have a great time teaching the uh write your book build your brain intensive the coaching intensive which is absolutely phenomenal good morning angela hey everybody good morning good morning um how's everybody doing this morning so I want to talk about um, one of the things that we discussed in the intensive last night was the publishing process, right? Was the actual publishing process. What does that look like? And when that happens, as the publishing process is going on, what should you be doing while this is happening, right? So when I teach the intensive, I teach it in steps. There are modules so that you can learn progressively throughout this track, throughout all that's happening because publishing, writing a book, publishing, branding, it all ties together, but there are steps that you have to take. So for when, when I teach, before we get to this module in module five, we have to go through module four, which is extremely intensive when it comes to branding and content and creating noise, right? And what you need to share. So this, I bring this up because I find, and I've had this recent conversation that people, um, especially when you are working with someone who helps you self-publish, like my agency helps people self-publish their books, that they're, they're waiting to get the book in hand before they start making noise about the book. They are like, you know, only then is it, is it something to celebrate when you actually have the book in hand? And I, say this because you miss opportunities if you wait until you actually have the printed book in your hand to say oh, okay now i want to start telling people about my book well there's two issues there one you waited a long time <laughs> and two it's not just the book that you're telling people about it is not just oh hey i wrote a book buy my book, buy my book. That's why you wait that long. It's because that's all you have planned to say is that, oh, look, my book is here. Oh, buy my book, buy my book, oh, buy my book. That's not really how that works. In order to be effective, in order to reach people, in order to, to make connections, not just to get sales, but to make genuine and authentic connections with people, things that really move and motivate people to connect with you and follow you and be a part of your tribe, you have to start sharing valuable content early in the game early. And I'm talking about three, four months out, six months sometimes. You know, you have to start making a buzz for yourself and for your message early, which is why, again, this is why I teach it in compounding steps, why you have to know what your why is and what your message is from the very start. You need to be able to be clear and saying, my book is going to do this. My book is going to motivate women to do X, Y, Z. My book is going to change the way that you view this system or understand how this thing works. So when it comes time to start promoting and pushing, you're not saying, oh, hey, buy my book, buy my book. You're sparking and engaging people in conversations that are relative to them. You trying to solve their problem. You're going to give them information that is valuable to them. Good morning. Good morning. You're going to give them information that's valuable to them as it relates to your message that is in your book. You're not going to wait until your book comes out to start screaming to the world. Hey, here I am. I wrote a book by my book. That's not how that works. I want you to really think about your why. Think about why you've done this and what is in your what's in your book. Right. We just had this conversation. My best friend and I this morning. What is in the book? What is the message? What are the, the, the takeaways, the pivotal points, the things that your readers have got to know? You start building your content based around that. You start sharing to social media and sharing with groups and, and platforms wherever you go. You start sparking conversation around that, around those things, around how this book is going to save or change somebody's life. Okay, well, in this one page or in this one section, I learn how to do X, Y, Z, or I taught people how to do X, Y, Z in this one chapter unpack that how many steps are required and them getting to wherever it is that you're trying to get to them okay step one is, a, is an accomplishment for some people step one getting some people to even believe that they can that's one step that's a conversation you can have all week long 
You can talk about the steps. You can talk about the fears related to that step. You can talk about the hesitations. You can talk about somebody celebrating achieving that step. And that's one thing. That's a step in one concept in one chapter. Like if you unpack your your manuscript, if you unpack your stuff like that and start thinking about the value that's in there and sharing that value, when it comes time to sell your book, you're going to have a tribe of very thirsty people and thirsty in a good way. I don't mean thirsty in the, in the broke brother outside the club way. I mean thirsty in a good way that you are going to share with them value consistently. They're going to say, she's been talking to me about this thing for months. She's been dropping bombs and nuggets for months. She has been helping me for free for months. So when it comes time to release a book, when it comes time to say, oh, I have something to sell or to share with you guys, do you think that people are not going to support that? When you've been giving them nugget after nugget after freebie after conversation after engagement for months. You don't just jump out after you've done all this work and you have this book. And now I, I wrote a book. I wrote a book. Hey, buy my book, buy my book. People are going to be like, OK, or you know what's going to happen? The people in your immediate circle are going to buy your book because they love you and they support you. So the people that you are closest to, those 50 to 100 people are going to buy your book. But those millions of other people that you've never even met that are on the other side of the world will have nothing to relate to. They're not going to buy your book because you say buy your book. They don't know you. They don't know nothing about you. They don't know nothing about your mission, your passion, your message, what you did this for. Why did you do They don't know anything about you. It's that no like trust factor. You want people to buy your book? Let them know who you are. Let them like what you have to say. Let them trust that you're going to give them valuable things. And then start talking about the book. And then start talking about the book. And you want to build a team of people. You want to get people on board. Thank Angela said, plant the seeds, build the relationships. As absolutely. Absolutely. Relationships are the new currency. It is for not like people have got to know that they can get good stuff from you and that you are not out here on a one sided uh, position saying, oh, I got something for you and I just want you to buy something from me. I just want you to buy something from me. No, trust that I can have the best intentions for you. Trust that I have nothing but good stuff for you. You've got to trust that. You have to trust that and people have to learn to trust that from you. And the only way that they're going to do that is if you share valuable content way in advance before your book comes out way in advance, two, three months, you know, however hard you decide to go, that's fine. If you want to share content every single day, by all means do that. You know, if you want to do lives every week, if you want to have meetups and have book discussions, whatever it is that you want to do to get people talking about the concepts that are in your book, that's what matters. That's what matters. What matters is, is what is at the heart of your story. What's at the heart of your message? Is your heart there or is your little hand out with a dollar sign? Like, uh, excuse me, I got bills to pay. Now, don't get it twisted. We all need to eat and you should eat off your expertise. You should. You should be paid for what you know. Absolutely. But you should also be in a position to help people based on what you know. And that comes. Don't chase the dollars. Don't chase the coins and don't chase that Amazon bestseller status, please. Lord, when I think about that and people all the time, oh, I want to be Amazon bestseller. I want to be Amazon bestseller. That is such a small concept. It's so easy to achieve that. I mean, easy, 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 easy to become an Amazon bestseller. It is all about working the system. So you could be an Amazon bestseller today with five blog posts that you pulled together, put them on Amazon, pin them at the right time, and boom, you're an Amazon bestseller. Congratulations. You ain't helped nobody. Nobody. You've done nothing for no one. Now you can run, I'm an Amazon bestseller, and that's cool. But if your book and the content in your book is boo, what difference does that make if you're an Amazon bestseller? If you, if you, with what you have is not impacting anyone's life, it, not, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant because then when they get into what's in there, right? So all of these people have bought your book and they look at it and it's like, well, this is, this is, I didn't, I could have Googled this. I, I didn't, none of this in here is going to change my life. You're not even in there authentically speaking to people to make a connection to them or with them to change their lives. So congratulations, but now you've got nothing. But that, but that little logo that you can put on a book that no one's going to buy because there's nothing in there. You understand? No. So you have to have valuable content in your book because it's the content. It's what's inside the book that is going to change people's lives. It's what's inside. Is that good for you guys? Does that makes sense for you guys? If that makes sense for you guys, I want to see those hearts, those likes. Let me know if that's valuable stuff for you guys, if that makes sense. You understand? Because I, for me, that right there, that right there, getting to the Amazon thing, that's 
That's nothing. But when you have people, when I have clients that are coming in and they're talking to me about one book changed their life. And I want you guys to think about that. Think about that. Thank you. I want to change. I want to write a life changing book. I have a client, a potential client. We're in negotiations with some stuff going on right now who said to me that he read one book, one book by Les Brown, and it changed his life, changed his life. Showed him how to do things in business differently, showed him how to operate and make some changes, you know, strategize, position himself to get some wins going on. That's what you want. That one book changed that man's life. You know what he did? He sought after Les Brown. He chased him down. He needed to make a connection with him. That's what you want. If, if that's what you want. I don't know what you want. Maybe you just want the Amazon bestseller status. But if you want to be a game changer, if you want to be an influencer, then you need to start sharing the value. You need to have real, real good stuff in that book. Really. So somebody can say, your book changed my life. What I read in your manuscript, what I read in your book did something for me. It, it opened up the doors for me in a new way of thinking. It positioned me to see the world a very, very different way. It allowed me to take a step that I was terrified of taking. It made me go X, Y, Z when I was going A, B, C. And now I'm on this track and I'm winning because of your book, because of the words that you put together. You do that speaking engagements. Doors are going to open up for you. Like You're not even going to have to ask for the opportunities. They're going to come. Why? Because people are in need of good stuff. Because people are hungry for help. So that's what you do. You position, you position yourself to be a help. You be an answer. And all of this, and I'm explaining to you, is a part of the publishing process. It is a part of it. You cannot go out and just have the book done and now be out here like, oh, my book is done. Buy my book. No, get your booty on a live. Go to an event. Have an event and start dropping bombs. Haymakers, left and right, giving them good enough all day long, all day long. Talk about it. Talk about it. Don't And share part of who you are. Share part of your journey. Let people make an authentic connection with you, fall madly in love with you. And then you start talking about, this is what I wrote about in this chapter in my book. I believe my book can help you. Why don't you grab you a copy? I'll autograph it for you. And we'll take a picture together. Jeez. People love that because people love people who are genuine, who are sincere and genuine in their endeavors. If, and people can smell a snake. People can smell. I just, raise your hand if you can sniff out a snake. If you get the if you get the sense from somebody that all they want is your coins, you ease out of that situation. Ah, uh, let me just. Mm, no, thank you. You you are like mm, it rubbed you the wrong way because you like ah yeah, that's all you want. That's all you want. You be, and you know what I'm saying? You dip out of that real quick. That situation makes you uncomfortable. You're not, uh, that's all you're talking about is you, huh? I'm cool. I'm not coming where you're going. I'm not joining anything that you're a part of because all you want is my dollars. You're not even here to help me. All you want is me to sign up for this next thing. Sign up for this next thing. Sign up for this next thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's the only time you communicate is when you want me to sign up or buy something. Well, you don't really even like me. You just want my money. People have to understand that you have to be, I mean, that you have to put your content out there and share all of that before the book drops, before the book drops, because that's how you get the sales that really matter. That's how you make the connections that really, really matter. Those people who buy the, the, the ebook on Amazon and that little bit of window so that you can become an Amazon bestseller, they, they got it for an inexpensive price. They're not making a real connection with you, you know, and not unless there's something really good in that book. But those people that you can draw in by sharing valuable content when the book launches and you do a whole launch campaign, you include people in the process, you get them on your email list, you send them stuff that keeps them engaged, you talk to them about what's going on. Hey, I'm excited about this. You make them a part of the process. I have one client, she did a, a multiple book covers. Let's vote on this. People were engaged. They were actively answering her questions. They were a part of the process. Let people be a part of the process with you. Let them see that they're human, that you're human and you are working to build something for them. Guys, I'm so excited about what's going on. I can't wait to share this information with you, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. It's make it sound all great because, you know, you're writing stuff now. So you should have really great words. So make all of that sound amazing and send that out to the people who are chomping at the bit to get the good nuggets that you're anxious to share. Anxious to share. Is that good stuff? Please let me know. Make sure you hit those likes. Make sure you share. If this video, if this is good for you guys, if this makes sense for you guys, make sure that you share on Facebook, on IG. Share, share, share. Let people know because it, you see it all the time. You know, everyone wants to write a book. Oh, I want to write a book. I want to write a book. Okay, no problem. And then you finish the process 
And then you just out here hooting and hollering and telling me I wrote a book because nobody tells you how to execute. No. Once you get done writing, that's that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. You know, you got lots of work to do. So get started. Get started soon. And you do not have to wait. That's another concept, too. You do not have to wait until you have millions of followers to share good content. You don't have to wait until people start following you or join everything that you're a part of to say, oh, now that I have a certain amount of people, now I'm going to start sharing. Well, where do you think they're going to come from? How are they going to find you? I'll wait. They not, <laughs> but they not. If you're not going to give good stuff for people, they're not going to come. They're not going to gravitate towards you. Why? Because you ain't talking nothing. So you have got to start sharing no matter where you are. Share today. We talked about this maybe a week ago. Start sharing today. Start sharing now. You know, I'm talking about this. This is on my heart. I want to do some research on X, Y, Z. I'm thinking about writing a book about women who travel the world. I have some questions about that. Has anyone ever thought about quitting their job and traveling? Have a conversation. See what people say about that. Do some polls. Get people engaged in the process. Get them talking and get them used to talking to you, not just you're selling and shouting. Get people talking back to you. Get them comfortable with having conversations with you. Why? Because that matters. That matters. And people matter. And they need to know that they matter to you. Or they're not going to give you their coins. Period. And all of this is part of the process that you need to start working on long before your book comes off that printer press. Okay? Start doing the work. I love to make new relations. I love people, but it scares me to meet people. Oh, you got to get past that. You got to get past that. And don't think about, it's not about just you. It's about what your message is. It's about what your mission is. You know, that, so it's funny. So I had a, a, that situation occur yesterday with a client who is ready to go, you know, and she's hesitant. She has some fears about pushing herself out there. You know, people looking at you a certain kind of way. And we talk about that. That fear of authority is real. You know, that fear of saying, I know something. I have done, you know, some work and I can say these things. And there are people who shrink away from that. But I tell you with all boldness, don't shrink away from what you know. Don't be ashamed of the work that you've done to get where you are. Why would you hide from that? Your journey matters. What you've been through matters. And only you and how you word it can really reach somebody who needs to hear it exactly the way that you say it. Somebody's not going to get it from Sheree. Somebody, it, maybe my language is not enough for them. I can't connect with somebody a certain way, but Tracy might be able to. The way that Tracy words it could be real effective for somebody else. So you've got to be able to communicate and speak and be confident in what you know and the fact that your message is genuine. And this is for people who only have a genuine message. If you, if your message is not genuine, this message is not for you. <laughs> this ain't for you. You know what I mean? This is only for those people who are sincerely concerned with helping and supporting other people. This is for you. Understand, this is for people who have real life, what I like to call heart content. Okay, y'all can quote me on that one. Heart content. If you are really working from your heart and what you really want to share matters to other people, don't shy away from that. But speak from your heart. Speak from that place. I did this because you matter to me. Because getting you unstuck is important to me. Share that. No. Stuff popping up. Nobody told you to do a scan right now. Anywho, was that good stuff for you guys? I hope that that makes sense. Hope that's clear and it matters um, and it's relevant for what you're going through. You want to take care of this part of the process first before you get that book in your hands. As it's going through the process, as you're going through edits, you know, if you're working with an editor, when you're working with, especially at Good Ground, when you're working with an editor and we're going through the process, we've already talked to you about the content that you can share. When I'm working through the concepts with my manuscript, I mean, with my clients, as we're doing edits, I'm like, great, this is awesome. Pull that and put that over there. We call it supplemental material. So it's like, okay, this is awesome. And it doesn't necessarily fit in this chapter, but it's a great talking point. Pull it and plug it as it goes in relation to chapter one. So this is something that when you go to talk about, I'm to my client, when you go to talk about launching your book, I want you to talk about this. Share this story. We can't fit it in the book, but share this story when it's time to talk about your book, because that's going to let people connect to you by sharing this part of your story. Okay, awesome. Next thing. Oh, here's an assessment. Okay, cool. We might be able to put that in a book, but if not, share that later on. That's value. That's value. So when your editor, you're going through that process with your editor or your editor has your manuscript and you are aware of what your content is, then you start sharing that stuff. Start sharing. Start sharing the valuable stuff. OK, that matters. Yes, so I started. I became an author to help others. Exactly. 
Thank you. Thank you very much for the loves and the hearts, all that good stuff. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, that's that's the concepts behind all of this. When that when your editor is working, when the publication team is working, when you're fishing around for a cover, when layout is doing what layout does, when design is doing what an ebook convergence are doing what they do, when all of the stuff in the kitchen is happening. You should not be sitting here twiddling your thumbs like, oh, I can't wait for them to get done to get my book so I can go run and tell the world about my book. That is not what you should be doing. You should be like, y'all, I'm so excited. I just did this research. I just learned how to X, Y, Z. And I want to tell you all about this that I learned. And I figured this out. And da, 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 da. you should be sharing, 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 sharing. 80, 20, 80, 20 rule. You want to share. And then, hey, maybe once a week. Got this great book for you guys. I put this thing together. I'm so excited about it. I want to share this with you. Here's a promotional offer. Here's something else that's going on. Here's how I can make this, you know, more juicy for you, whatever. But you don't wait until the book is done to then start talking about how amazing the book is. You've missed a whole lot of opportunity. You've missed some opportunities to connect with people and to build some relationships. Does that make sense? Awesome. Thank you so much for the likes. I appreciate that, guys. And I'm glad that, that makes sense. And Angela said, exactly. Thank you. You understand? That's how this works. Don't wait. Don't wait. And give yourself time. Be fair to yourself, especially if you are a self-published author. You are not under anyone's timeline or restraints but your own. Give yourself time. Don't rush the process. It's going to take time to drum up some noise, to get some buzz going about what you have going on. Don't Get your book finished and then say, you know what, I'm going to, um, my book is finished today on March 21st. So I'm going to have my book launch on the, the 1st of April. Hold up, player. Give a bro some time. Give a sister a minute. Give Like, let us, what are, what are you talking about? What is going on? You know, make some noise. Talk to us. Drum up some sound. Get us excited about what's going on and give yourself time. Okay. Give yourself time. Give yourself time to write the book because writing is a process. Uh, everybody keeps talking about they did it so fast. No, writing is a process and it takes time. <laughs> and editing takes time because words matter. So give yourself time to do that. But then while you, when you're done and your editor says you're done, your editor says, that's it. I don't need anything else from you. We can nip and tuck and fix the rest of this. You go head on and you start promoting. You start promoting. You understand? You start going out and talking about this thing and then let everybody on the back end do what the people on the back end do. As a publisher, we then go into work for you, right? We back here in the kitchen, whipping it in the kitchen <laughs> like a stir fry, okay? We in here making it do what it do. While we in the kitchen whipping it up, you need to be out there sharing your message. You need to be out there talking to people. Understand? Get it going. Don't wait. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It makes sense, but I'm not sure how to apply this to the fiction that I write. Still, so stay tuned. Why don't you do me a favor and put that in my in my DMs and we can talk about that for Fiction Friday. That I save all my fiction stuff for Fiction Friday because fiction conversations will take us in a whole nother direction. So we can talk about that on, um, on Friday if you need. Yeah, I fly out on Friday. So we might have a quick conversation on Friday. But uh, yeah, definitely drop that in the box on Friday. All right. All right, gang. So I hope that was good stuff for you guys. I thank you. I appreciate your time on this wonderful Wednesday morning and uh, have a blessed day. Be intentional with what you have going on. If your book, if you're writing your book, start thinking about what you can pull out of your book and multipurpose. What are the major takeaways that people need and, and have to walk away from your book knowing? And then start sharing that stuff. Start sharing that. Do not wait. Don't wait until you become, oh, now I'm famous. Now I'm going to share this. How are you going to become famous? You're going to get to famous by sharing, <laughs> by being valuable to people. That's how you get to, to that. Okay. All right, guys. I appreciate you. Have a blessed day. Sweetie. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Have a great one. Kick booty. Be phenomenal today. Um, as my girlfriend, Davida says, be amazing on purpose. I love that. All right, gang. Talk to y'all soon.